Hello, this is going to be an unboxing video of some puzzles I got off of cube for you Now, um, I recently had a birthday, so I placed a big cube order as part of my birthday present. So, um, expect during these next couple of days, um, to see a bunch of unboxing stuff. Um, this is the cube for you order. Um, as you can see, the shipping was very nice. This is the UPS shipping. Um, that's all the address and information like that. And the puzzles seem to arrive very good condition. I can't see anything wrong with the box except for minor bumps and that's to be expected with pretty much any package. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Now I ordered a couple of cubes. I ordered the super 3x1 three by, three by floppy cube and I ordered the fully functional 3x3x4. Three by three by so I'm really excited to have all these puzzles come in. Um, I'm really excited to test out the new um, type, uh, the new type three, which is supposed to be really cool. Okay, so here's the super um, three by three by one, and the reason it's called the super three by three by one is because it doesn't just turn like a normal floppy cube; it can actually turn on um, every single axis uh, on the puzzle. So here, let me go ahead and open it up and show you. Um, as you can see, um, it can move like let's see, can it move like I don't know. I'm going to have to mess with this. It's very, very interesting um, to see how this puzzle moves. Okay, there we go. So it seems like some of the pieces move and some of the pieces don't move. Um, that, that's interesting. So it's going to be fun to see just exactly how you solve this puzzle. Um, it has like second second stickers on the inside to kind of let you know which pieces go where also that's kind of nice um but anyway that's the super three by three by one floppy cube um next puzzle i got is a new type three diy um i'll make a review for all these puzzles later but just so you know i ordered two of these um they had different names on the website so i just got one of each in case they turned out to be different um, okay, this is, this looks like it's the 3x3x4, three by, three by um, uh, fully functional 3x3x4 three by three by in black, and it comes with a green core. That's really cool, because green's my favorite color. Um, so that, that, I'm, that's really cool. And here, um, okay, so here are all the stickers in the bottom of the box. Um, here we go. That's for the 3x3x4. Three by three by it actually comes with a set of 3x4 stickers, so that's kind of cool. Um, and I think they gave me two of them. No, no, they just gave me one. Okay. And then there's another set of stickers right there. And then here is my um, QJ 4x4. Four four. Um, a lot of people call this the Clefferts brand, but really it's a QJ brand. Um, basically, this is a cloned version uh, of a Mefferts cube. And it has the same mechanism as a Mefferts cube and a Rubik's 4x4. But this is the mini um, QJ 4x4. So it's actually the same size as an Ishin 4x4. Which is awesome because I love the size of the Ishin 4x4. Um, but these QJ cubes are supposed to be... Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. That is so smooth. I mean, right out of the box. My goodness. And it has a spherical um, core... As you can see here, let me get some of the pieces out. Um, it seems to have uh, pre-lubrication on it. So um, it, it's already lubricated. All the pieces are nice and slimy. As you can see, it has that little ball core with the sliding pieces. Um, wow, this is really neat. It, I, I think this might be my new main 4x4. I love Ishin cubes. I think they're wonderful. Um, but if this one like ends up being better, I'm just going to be so happy. Because it's the same size as the Ishin 4x4, but it has the spherical core. Now the spherical core isn't necessarily better than the um, core that the Ishin has. The Ishin has like the 3x3 um, screw structure core, but I mean, there's a chance that this this might be my new awesome 4x4. So uh, I'll make a review of all these puzzles as soon as I um, have played with them a little bit, and I'll let you guys know how awesome they are. Because I think all of them are awesome so far. They're all awesome. Oh, some of the sticker peeled on the QJ brand. But that's okay because I ordered um, Cubesmith um, stickers and tiles for all my new cubes. 
Um, so I'm going to put these together, the 3x3x4s and the 3x3s, and I'm going to mess with the super floppy cube a little bit more. Where did I put it? Where are you? Okay, here he is. <laughs> I covered it up. I'm going to mess with this like a bunch more, and I mean, it looks really cool already. Um, wow, that, that's that's really neat. Oh my goodness, this this just looks... I mean, it looks like you can get some pretty crazy combinations and stuff with this cube. So anyway, I'm going to mess with this and get back to you guys later. So uh, that's the unboxing video. Um, super 3x3x1 floppy cube. QJ Mini 4x4. Same size as the Ishin, but still has that awesome ball core that a lot of QJ uh, cubes are known for. Um, here's the, sticky, uh, the packaging, by the way. This little invisible QJ thing and just a box. Nothing, nothing special. Um, the 3x3x4 fully functional cube for you brand cube. Um, it, it comes with two sets of screws and springs. That's interesting. I don't know why they did that. But um, this is the uh, uh, new type 3, 3x3. Another new type 3, 3x3. Um, I can't tell if these are different. I, I, I actually think they are different. Because just by looking at them, like here, let, let me show you an example real fast before I can close up the video. Okay, look at this. This is, this is interesting. I just noticed this. At least I think I noticed it. If I can get the right pieces out. Okay, so if you look at these two edge pieces, um, th this edge piece right here doesn't have this little indentation right here. Maybe you can see that. There we go. So you can see that little track right there. That kind of helps it slide a little bit, and this piece also doesn't have a filling. These pieces are fully filled. So, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see which one of these is better. I didn't know that they were different because um, they looked exactly the same on the picture, so I'm actually glad I got both of them. One of these is the New Type 3 Model A, and the other one is the um, just the Type 3 Model A. So, the New Type and the regular one. And they also have different cores. That's interesting also. So I'm going to mess with both of these and all my other puzzles and I'll get back to you guys and let you know how it was. So that's the unboxing video. Hope you liked it. See you later.